Hey everyone, it's Zach from TheBearFix.com. Today we're going to take a look at the updated version of BlackBerry AppWorld for the desktop. So it brings along a lot of cool features. And I think one of the best ones, at least for me, is that uh, it brings update for Mac. You know, before now it would be hard to do it because you'd click on the link to view an app and it would just say, you know, this version is not compatible with your browser. Please use Windows, blah, 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 which was slightly annoying considering you know the rise of Mac users is is happening so quickly so we're gonna take a quick look at how to you know navigate and use the new app world uh, web uh, mobile site um, so let's click on browse and download apps you will want to make sure you go to uh, either this URL right here or you can just go to appworld.blackberry.com and it'll take you directly to this page so let's click on the apps so as you can see, we've got a little carousel here, which gives us you know, a few apps we can look at. We can you know, navigate through them. Blackberry Protect. If I want to continue on, take a look at it. I can view some screenshots. If I need support, the support line is right there. And you can even share it. So you can share it via Facebook, you know, email, MySpace, Twitter, StumbleUpon, all those different uh, social networking sites. As you can see, all the there. You can actually download it. Um, I have already downloaded this onto my BlackBerry, so we're going to take a look at something I don't have. So let's go and take a look at um, do I have some games, maybe? Yeah, let's take a look at some games. So once again, you've got the feature there. Let's go down. Um, let's do a paid app. What do we got here that's entertaining? Let's do some Doodle Jump. So you just click on it. We've got uh, description. We've got some um, some reviews and such, and of course the screenshots. Some aliens going on there. Let's click on purchase. And so I'm gonna have to log back in there because my session has expired, which is no problem. So if you don't have a BlackBerry ID, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you didn't, you can click on don't have an ID, uh, create one for me there. But if you use anything BlackBerry, so BlackBerry Protect, or you use AppWorld on your handheld, you're already going to have a BlackBerry ID. So we're signing in there, and hopefully it'll take me back to that page if not we're just gonna have to take a look and go back to games and uh, and go through that way yeah so it did okay so let's click on games let's click on here let's go back to doodle jump so if you viewed the website before you you notice there is quite an increase in quality in terms of you know just functioning and and using the device uh, and the and the service together. Okay, so it's just just so you know, on the right here, it's saying it's supported for your device. Uh, it would tell you if it's you know country specific or carrier specific. So we're going to click on purchase. Okay, and it actually looks like okay. We're going to connect. That's what it wants us to do at least. And connect my BlackBerry to it, and it's loading, 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 loading. It would be really cool if um, we were able to actually push these up, these purchases to your device, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping you know RIM and their push services, and they you know hopefully combine this all together so that uh, we are able to do that so you actually don't need to plug into your computer so it is waiting there and let's begin the sync do, 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 do. it's telling us uh, it's a static license so it means it doesn't need one it's already built into the device probably using my pin uh, the name what's gonna happen and the size of the application so we're about two megs in a bit uh, it also gives you the warning, just in case you thought you could unplug your BlackBerry during the process. Uh, you don't want to do that. It's going to say, you know, zero of one complete, because if you had a bunch of apps you wanted to install, you can kind of do them all at once. Um, and then 
do not disconnect your BlackBerry or leave this page until the changes are completed. So it's almost done there. It's going to give me the message saying that it's done. Da, 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 da. It's just finishing up there. There we go. Are we are completed? Um, as you can see up the top, we've got sign out. We've got available devices, which will show each BlackBerry you have under the same BlackBerry ID. Uh, you can see which BlackBerry ID it is. And if we click on My World, very similar to the My World that you're going to see on your BlackBerry. Okay. And it'll show you in a second there when we load up. You've got updates. Oh, the BlackBerry traffic icon is a little odd there because you can't see it. And what I was saying, so show you the key that's available, show you, you know, so we've got an update for Windows Live Messenger. Let's do that. So as you can see, if you scroll right up here in a second, it will pop up there saying we have an update. So let's sync that. But you can also see, you know, what air, uh, upgrades are available what subscriptions you have, what installed you have. So let's hit sync now. A device will be restarted. And I agree. And it's going to give us a percentage there. So where Windows Live Messenger is being updated, we are at 0%. And soon enough, it will go to seven percent. <laughs> We've missed the one, two, three, and four, and five, and it looks like it's going quite quickly there. Let's spare with it there as it updates my Windows Live Messenger. Fifty percent, fifty-seven, sixty-four, seventy-one, seventy-eight. Oh, almost there. Ninety-two. Come on. Can we do it? It's the first time I've ever done this, so let's hope it hope it works there. Come on. Yes. It did it. So it's just saying that um because the BlackBerry is restarting, obviously you can't see anything, and this is kind of where you can see all your apps that you have. And it, the cool thing it shows, so it shows a uh, BlackBerry Playbook apps also, because obviously they're all under the the same ID. I love this game, <laughs> but that's everything. So you can buy apps from here, you can sync them, you can upgrade them, you can delete them. There's a really a lot you can do. So. You know, check it out, april.blackberry.com. You know, it's available for the, the computer at the moment for Mac and PC. And we're obviously going to start seeing it roll out to phones, hopefully soon, um, giving us a, you know, completed new UI and, you know, just overall better uh, app downloading experience. So this is everything for TheBerryFix.com. We shall see you later.